Bathurst Island is celebrating its new water system. It's one of the first Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory to get fluoride in drinking water. There's now enough water for new homes and the football ground. Bridget Brennan reports. Bathurst Island is getting a long-awaited watering. It's all coming from this 1.8 million litre tank built outside the Warrima Younger community. The tank and two new treatment systems will make a dramatic difference on the island, where until now water supply has been unreliable. We have much more water in storage, we're able to feed it in to the community. The system is built uphill and doesn't require power to channel water into the community. And there's fluoride in the drinking water to improve dental health. Certainly having the water fluoridated will assist in you know, going some way. Won't be immediate, but you know, it'll certainly, I think, into the future, uh, provide some benefits in that way. It's costing the federal government $20 million to upgrade water supplies in several remote communities. The population on the Tiwi Islands is growing and more water is needed for new homes built under the federal government's Indigenous housing program. A safe, secure, clean water supply for this town as it grows is very, very important and something I'm very pleased about and, and it's a tribute to this community. The new infrastructure means there's more water coming from an underground aquifer on the island and that means more water for washing cars and more water for the local footy ground. The Tiwi bombers haven't been able to train on the ground because there was no irrigation system. Now the sprinklers are back on and the ground is green again. Bridget Brennan, ABC News, Bathurst Island.